Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Weird intro, I know. I just sat down to edit today's video, which is my live swatches of the new ColourPop lip colors, the Velvet Luxe Lips. That's Lola. <laughs> I just sat down to edit and I realized my intro was missing, so I just wanted to say hi. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'm so sorry about this weird intro. And Lola wants to say hi. Oh my god, is she not the sweetest thing? At least you guys got to see Lola. Oh my god, I'm melting. Lola, you look insane. But let's get on to these swatches, you guys. So these just launched today. And I will let you know, the whole ColourPop website is 25% off right now, which is crazy. I'll have these linked down below for you guys in order that we do them. And like, let's just get into this. I'm excited. I need to see this now. First impressions, I love this packaging and I'm trying not to go nuts so over packaging anymore because it's stupid, but it's really pretty. <laughs> I like that it's smaller and it's cute and it's like a little thicker and it looks really pretty. It just looks really nice. So these are little duo sets. This duo here is Drop a Hint. So this is Keep It Koi and this one is Genie. So let's start with Keep It Koi. This looks right up my alley. I don't notice a smell with these. And the applicator is much smaller, I'm just realizing, than their normal ones. Oh yeah, it is, it's like a whipped texture. Oh wow, it's kind of like instantly matte. You know their standard ultra matte lips, it like takes a few seconds for it to dry down to a matte. This like just looks matte right away. It looks a little more sheer than the regular ultra matte lips. I think some people really like these because they feel like velvety. I don't know how to describe it other than the word velvety. It's not that same thick, almost sometimes paint-like texture. It's literally like a whipped texture. It doesn't feel cracky or dry. I'm wondering if they're going to be as opaque as the ultra matte lips are. I think that's gonna be the big difference here. We will see, but dang, it's really comfortable. So there is the shade Keep It Koi. As I'm removing this, I wanted to point out one more thing to you guys. The ultra matte lips, if you've tried them before, it's best to use like a micellar water or a makeup remover, something oil-based because they are so intense. This is just like coming right off with a makeup remover wipe. So I think that's really nice. Like it came off in a flash. I think these are gonna be a much more low maintenance version of the ultra matte lips, which is exciting. The next shade is Genie. Ooh, I like this one better. The other one was nice. It's a little too light for me. This one has like a pop. Oh, she's cute. And I like how you can like just throw it on the bottom lip and go like, and like boom, it's on the top lip easy. These are really easy. Oh, I love this color. This is my color. This is the exact color I try to go for like just casually every day. This is something that I want. I like something bright. I like it to look like I have lip color on and I like it kind of fun and kind of flirty. And I think that's exactly what Genie is. Now let's try them together because I know you guys are gonna wanna see them together and so do I. So we will take the lighter one, which is Keep It Koi and top that off in the center. See if it, you know, does anything. No. <laughs> In my opinion, it did not do anything when I just popped it in the center. I thought I might make it like a little more puckery, a little brighter there. It really did not. Yeah, it looks the exact same in my opinion. So we'll try it with all of them. Maybe some will work that way. This one, I would say, I don't notice anything when you layer them. So the next duo is Lofty Goals. I like that name. <laughs> Lofty goals. By the way, I did my makeup today with the godforsaken Tati Puffer, as I've named it. I say godforsaken because I have never had more hate on a video than that video. That is the most hateful video I've ever had, and I don't freaking know why. So if someone can explain it to me, please let me know. I used my Tati Puff again today. This is the third time I've used it. I'm really enjoying it, so I don't care what anyone says about me. So here are the two shades in this set. We have Puddin right here, and then we have Air Kiss. We're gonna start off with the shade put in put in <laughs> oh oh I want my aunt. are you kidding me I love this this has way more color than I was expecting I love it with my eye makeup today which I don't even want to say it's also the Tati palette don't shoot me god forbid I love it with the warm tones on my eyes today I'm going to love this in summer I want nice bronze skin and this lip color oh it is hot it is hot 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 I like that it's kind of more of like a bricky orange you know what I mean it's cool I like it a lot and comfortable you guys this one I just don't think will be transfer free nope <laughs> it is not transfer free so know that definitely so there is the shade put in next we have the shade air kiss oh uh, this is fun it's like almost neon in a way I like this one a lot 
it. I am shocked at how much pigment these have. I really thought these were gonna be a lot more sheer. This one is more in that brighter coral family, but there's like a nice, you know I suck at my color descriptions. There's a pretty kind of pinky rose tone to it too. It's really interesting, it's really different, and I think it's super cute. So there is the shade Air Kiss. Now, would we mix these two together? I'm thinking not so much. I don't know how we would do this one. Let me see. I'll just mix them together in general because it's not really a, a layering situation here. Mm, I can see the difference, but I think when you layer it, it just starts to look like whatever one you put on top. So far with the two we've tried, I don't think they're very layerable, but I think I like this set more than the first set. Again, this is Lofty Goals. The next set is Hazy Baby, and this set has Lucky Cat and Buttercup. We're gonna first start with Buttercup. That's pretty, it's on the brighter side. Super cute, that's super fun. Super like just youthful and vibrant, but not too loud. What I like about these whipped formulas from any brand, once they start to fade, you're not left with awkward, crusty weirdness. Like it just, it fades to a soft color. They probably stain just slightly. So they're nice to wear on long days or, you know, it's something you don't have to be checking in the mirror like every five seconds about how it's looking. So I really like that about it. Uh, there is the shade Buttercup. The next shade is Lucky Cat. Oh, I love this color. This is like really romantic. My heart is just like pitter pattering. I don't know why, but the minute I put this on, I was like, oh my God, this is what I want to wear on Valentine's Day. It's just a really sweet, romantic, soft, yet youthful, yet vibrant. It's like the full package type of lip color. You just feel pretty. It doesn't feel like loud and like people are staring. And if they are staring, it's for a good reason because it is such a flattering lip color. I think on anybody, this color would be just fantastic. So far, I think Lucky Cat might be my very, very, very favorite. So there is the shade Lucky Cat. You know what? I don't know if these duos are like layerable. Let me try to add this one. That made it a little brighter in the center, but nothing noticeable. Really not so noticeable. Now, if we mixed these with like the first set, then yes. But I don't think there's any point in layering the ones that come in a duo together. The next little set is called Kiss the Duck. Oh, Kiss the Dusk. <laughs> Kiss the Dusk. Leave the ducks alone. Don't go kissing no duck. We're about to get into all the colors. So we have Big Bang and Daily Dose. Let's start with Daily Dose. Oh, fiery. Oh my God, so much color. Wow, that is so freaking bright and so opaque. This is what I was not expecting. I thought they were gonna be much, 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 much more sheer, kind of like the ultra blotted lips, but it's pretty much like an ultra blotted lip and a liquid lipstick fused together. That's how I would describe these, but it is gorgeous, y'all. My goodness. Anyway, there is the shade Daily Dose. The next shade we have is Big Bang. This is cute. This is a cherry, cherry red. Oh my God, this is too cute. I feel like Snow White right now. It's one of those kind of like Disney princess red lips. It's fun, again, vibrant, but it's sweet and romantic. I really like that. So there's the shade Big Bang. Now I guess let's try to layer them again. I don't know if there's any point to me doing this anymore. These ones are a little different. This one's a little more orange. So that just kind of oomphed it up a little bit. So that one you can mix, that could be fun. I don't know if you guys even care about that, but sometimes I'll do lip swatches and people will say, oh, Oh, I wish you mixed this with this. So trying to provide you more options, but yeah, super cute. So this is a fiery little set. You have something real fiery and something kind of romantic and cherry red. So that is Kiss the Dust, not to be confused with Kiss the Duck. Leave the ducks alone. This set's name is so cute. This is called Powder Room. I love that. I wish we still called them, or maybe in other countries they call it a powder room, but I wish we still said like powder room instead of bathroom. It just sounds so glam, oh my God. It sounds so glamorous. These are really pretty. These are like the perfect little powder room shades here. So we have Casual Dress and Can You Even. We're first gonna start with Casual Dress. Sorry, my lips are getting a little stained. I should have done this one first. I wasn't even thinking. Oh, that's so soft and pretty. A really soft kind of nude peach. I love this one because it still has color to it. It's not that pale peach we see from like every brand when they put out like a peachy nude. It's always so pale. And depending on your skin tone, this one might be a little light for you, but it's not the palest in the world. So there's the shade Casual Dress. The next shade is Can You Even? Oh, I love this one. This one's a little more beigey. Super cash, super cute. For me, for a color like this, I love colors like this, but on me, I think I would need a little bit of a lip liner or else it just kind of, I feel like it just kind of all like fades in with my skin. Do you know what I mean? But I do think it'd be really cute for like a no makeup type of look, like literally just brows, mascara, maybe a little bit of blush and this lip color just to give you something to feel put together. But depending on your skin tone, it might be a little too light, a little too washed out. So there is the shade, can you even? And these were just so similar, like depth, not necessarily tone, cause one's kind of peachy, one's kind of beigey, 
but they're on like the same medium type of color. So I don't know if there's much point again in trying to mix these, but I'll give it a go. Yeah, it's kind of pointless, but I really like this set. I think with a lip liner, I would really, really love this one. So that is Powder Room. The next duo is Puff Mommy. Oh, aren't these pretty? We have Room Service and Get Money. I hate the name Get Money. I just do. <laughs> I'm like, we're first starting with the shade Room Service. I love this whip texture, I really do. It's so comfortable. This is a nice color, there's nothing wrong with it, but it just does not wow me, excite me, or anything. So this so far is probably my least favorite. However, you guys, just do not take my word for this. Really imagine the color on your skin tone, because what doesn't work for me will totally work for somebody else. I'm not saying it's a bad shade whatsoever, but for my own personal taste, this one just doesn't excite me. This is another one that I would prefer to use with a lip liner, because it just feels kind of like, bleh like just muted, you know? But on other people, again, this could look amazing. So just don't ever take my saying, I don't really love this color to be a, this is a bad color type of thing. You know, it's all, it's all personal. So this is the shade Room Service. The next shade is Get Money. It just feels like, I don't know, Get Money. Oh, oh, but she's pretty. She's pretty. Mmm, I love this color. Okay, this color saved it for me because the name is horrible, but I love it this color. I don't know, what would you say? Like maybe more of like a brown red or like a terracotta? Again, this is the shade Get Money. I think it's stunning, stunning, stunning. And now let's add room service and see if that does anything. Not really, really nothing to write home about, but now you can see it in case you were interested. So what set is that? Puffer Mommy. No, Puffer Pig, what is it? Puff Miami. Puff Mommy. <laughs> this is the very last set, you guys. This is What the Fluff. That's cute. <sighs> I'm excited about these. <laughs> these look so scrumptious. In this set, we have Hermosa and Southbound. Let's first start with Southbound. I love colors like this. Again, it just, it seems romantic to me. So pretty. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, maroony, berry lip. I am crazy about this color. I always love colors like this. I think they're just timeless and they look appropriate for anything like a night going out, a date night, a formal event. Like you can't go wrong with these beautiful berries and they just look so good on everybody. So there is the shade Southbound. And the very last shade is Hermosa. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love this color. It is just so vibrant, so juicy. It's still that beautiful berry tone, but with a much brighter pop of color. It is romantic and just lovely. So there is the shade Hermosa. And for one last time, let's add Southbound. Again, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Not really, nope. Gorgeous set. What the Fluff is beautiful. If you love your berries or your maroonies or your kind of wine colors, this is for you. So ladies and gents, what are your thoughts on all of these colors? How did you like how the application looked? How do you like the finish? Let me know everything. There's definitely a color in here for everybody. They're so lightweight. They're so just whippy. They feel so whippy. They're really, really comfortable. I think you guys are gonna like these a lot. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to do some looks with these. Definitely. What is my favorite? I think my favorite would still have to be Lofty Goals. I don't know. That one just really, it's the one that sticks out in my mind the most. And probably Kiss the Dusk as well because I'm just such a red fan and like a bright fan. Those are probably my favorites. Let me know what your favorite duo is. Are you guys going to pick these up? Are you going to skip on them? I don't think that they're a necessity, but they are nice to have. I think you would enjoy them. And again, I believe they're having a 25% off sale right now. So scoop them up for sale while you can. You can try to use my affiliate code. Again, I'm not sure that it's going to work and no big deal. Take the better sale. The 25% off sale is amazing. So definitely load up while you can, you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.